Hello everyone, Sir Monkey Suit Ozappi here, back again with Hunter Hunter. We are on episode 67, and in the last episode, Dick Sakura. Okay, uh, episode 67. Um, I've just, whilst going through that, I'm beginning to think there may be something a bit um, dark about what's going on here. <laughs> um, because... Razor is one of the um, designers of the game, right? Now, what if the fourteen devils are the other pe are the other designers, right? Um, because this is a place in, within the real world, right? It's not a it's not a like another it's not a game realm kind of thing that you get teleported to. It's an actual place in the real world. So what I'm thinking is, if they had heard about whatever this treasure is, right? And they came to this island. Is it possible that the treasure itself is some was somehow involved in how this became a like everything formed into a game? I'm beginning to think the NPCs and stuff are actually like real people or were or like their souls are like sort of attached to these like you know to, to the like to this fucking game world and these cards and stuff now like they're kind of trapped within because i'm thinking it's an island of its own right I'm, i would have assumed just how big it is there would have been inhabitants on it before this whole thing started i'm wondering if the if <sighs> but then if if that's the case, then Jean would be like... That would make Jean like a, a bad person, which I don't think he is, right? Unless Jean was unhappy in what had happened and maybe this whole thing... that The idea was for Gon to go in there to maybe reverse everything. If Jean wasn't happy with what had, ha but what had happened, so therefore he sends Gon in to try and reverse the whole thing i don't know i'm just because the reason why i'm thinking this it the thought first popped into my mind when razor was mentioned as somebody who wants to come get treasure now if he was one of the designers of the game then surely why why would he need for something that is a part of the game right so my thought process is it was there before the game was there and that has got something to do with why this place is like now just a a, a game world. It's just a game island. And also, there's a there's a I'll I'll try and find it. Um, there's a moment where they're talking to the woman who looks like Beze, by the way. Like she looks like that that um you know that character that could uh, control people by kissing them. She looks like her. Um. <laughs> I mean, the, the, the hair is very similar, and so is the facial structure as well. Um, I mean, look look at that! Look at that! How is that not basic? It's like so... It's... Oh, I don't know. But there's one moment where it plays, and it just... it. I'm sure it, it like... Yeah, like it's in the, in our eye. Like our eyes are like glazed over. I'm beginning to think there's like a, there's like a soul's like trapped. And it's almost like a way of like, like, she's like, you know, it's a way of almost like trying to, like the reason why she is talking is because she wants this kind of to end. But she's, she's obviously not like screaming out, like helping, like try and help us or something. Cause obviously something stopping her with being like, maybe being a part of this whole game thing. This is, this is all like. It sounds like crazy theory, but it for some in my head it just seems right. I don't know why you would zoom in on her face, like make like have a look at her eyes glazed over and stuff. If that wasn't the case, I, th I feel like there is something dark behind this game. I think there is, um, and whatever is the whatever is the energy or the whatever's making this place a game world i think must have something something to do with that treasure what she's referring to there when she's saying like you know razor and his 14 devils came or like you know when hearing about the treasure came to like claim it for themselves 
I'm wondering if that is like if like she is talking from a past tense before the game started kind of thing and that's what she's saying and that's like the only way to get a, a sort of message out because it didn't mention it didn't like show us the 14 devils in like you know they were silhouetted and stuff so i'm wondering if they were the other designers of the game i'm, I'm thinking that was possibly the case it makes sense in my head but we'll have to wait and see um also that garenu guy he's weird and he knows something's up he, he's like i don't know maybe he's if we're going with this theory that i've just been talking about then maybe he's like he was an inhabitant of this place but maybe he was away before he came back and like maybe he sees his parents as like or like his family members and his friends and stuff when he came back to be like but then well he wouldn't be able to just come back would he, he would have to come in through the game world which means he would have had to realise that this place was the Greed Island or whatever was actually that place unless he just came here by accident and realised wait a minute I recognise this it's just because he's, he's he knows something I don't think I could get anything from what he said. Like, you know, I can't really theorize what he's talking about because it basically was the whole thing of that um, that girl was talking about how it's an event that only crops up maybe when 15 people use a company to this place all at once. And, um, and Garino says brutal. And kill us, I what? And he's like, nothing, nothing. Brutal. See, maybe that's it. If he's saying brutal, then maybe he's like, if he has an if like an affiliation with the people, like the people in this town or whatever, then the idea of the only way to access the event is to come here and accompany with fifteen people. Basically saying that you're, you're, you're following in the footsteps of the pirates, meaning that if you're coming here, then you're, you're basically like following in the footsteps of the pirates or whatever, which, you know, killed and tortured people and stuff. And that's what he's referring to as brutal. Like, but the reason why, because nobody else bats an eyelid, nobody else cares, but he's the only one that says brutal. I feel like, I don't know. I feel like my, my theory, I think works. Because I just don't know why Razor would be... He wouldn't need to... If, if this was truly like a, a, a... Everything is made up in this place, right? And it wasn't just... right, Like, it wasn't just normal people that were turned into these, like, NPC characters and stuff. And, like, souls trapped within these cards and things. Then the, the, there is no reason for Razor to come here and torture and all that... In order to get a treasure that surely he would already have access to because it's already part of the game, Right? The only other thing that I could possibly think that would that would make that not true would be that Razor just has a, like, um, he has like a sort of uh, a, 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 a complex or something, something that, like a power complex maybe, like he wants to have power over people, so he, he feels like while the consequences for doing that against real people would be obviously severe, but doing doing it against NPCs that, that don't have feelings or whatever, he's fine with, you know, that's fine. But that's the only other thing. I like my other theory more, that like, these were real people once, and now they're NPCs because whatever that treasure was that you know, all of the, you know, design, like the des designs of the game came and um, yeah. I think so. I'm going with that one. I'm going with that. If I'm wrong, then I'm wrong, but uh, it's interesting anyway. All right, so, uh, yeah, I wrote down there's no need to go through every card because I feel like, you know, if they're going to be used, they're going to come up at some point, and I'll be able to read it then. So, you know, there's no point going through and reading every card and say, you know, it, the only reason why I did it last episode was just because I thought maybe there might be a case in which they don't, like, if they use it but never explain it, then I would have the information or whatever, right? Um. But I guess also, like, 
trying to figure out if things could happen before it got to that point. And I'll be like, oh, well, if we use this and this, then you could possibly get out of this situation. But uh, whatever, it takes too long. Um, so, yeah, so the reason why they were using Risky, they were, so I, I think I got it wrong then. Last last episode, I was discussing about um, that the, the card that they were looking to use with Lucky Dice was the tax thing. Oh no! Well, no, I guess they did because that, it says that it allows you allows you to use um, fucking uh, levy, right? But then that's a weird. Yeah, I think no, I think it is. So I think the tax thing allows you to use levy, which is taking like multiple cards away from your opponent. But as a result, you lose like one random card from your. I think so, right? I think that's what the tax thing was. So. So I don't know. Maybe the look. Maybe the risky dice was a good way to, it was a smart way to, to sort of like, if you get lucky, then because it's all in one move, it means that you um, not only get the look of getting better cards from the opponents, but also if it takes one random card, it takes one that you, you don't really need. And it's an easy one to reacquire or whatever, or maybe you've got a duplicate or whatever. I don't know. I guess you can't because you can't get duplicates of restricted, can you? So... But yeah, I mean, maybe that's the case. In that case, it's a very smart move. Um, and I don't like admitting that because I, those guys suck. <laughs> Especially I guess, dude, dude, I fucking hate, I just hate his face. It's so punchable, man. Ugh. Right, so, yeah, good move regardless, even though it was fucking, it's just so cheeky, man. It's so fucking cheeky, sneaky, the lot. It's, especially considering the fact that you just teleport yourself back to, like, fucking wherever. Ugh. Fucking, it's it's horrible. It's like the equivalent of like getting the last word in before like, le like if you're on the phone to somebody, right? If you're just like having an argument or something, it's like, oh yeah, fuck you, <laughs> and then just hang up. Oh God's sake, this fucking show, man. <laughs> right. Um. So yeah, uh, we had uh, Gone Killer talking about um. Uh, it was so. It was a question I had, which was. Because of the limits of like a lot of these cards, why is it that we're like we're able to get access to them, and why is it that they haven't like already run out? Um, and I'm glad they answered this because I remember it being a prominent question that I had where I was like, "Well, how the how long has this been going on for that where you know?" Because I feel like it has been going on for a bit, long enough for all of this, all of these cards, whatever to you know. Of course, there's the thing of like if you kill the person, then their cards are like put back, right? So. You know, there's that, but also the, the the interesting thing was obviously Killua saying that a lot of these people, you know, they say like what few on thirty teams or whatever. So anything that has a limit of above that, they'll tend to be still some Roman. Like there's, there's some spare that you can go get. But um, the idea that a lot of a lot of people that tend to come in here just are trying to find a way to leave. Um, you know, and if there is no leave cards, what do you do? But it's also, it's just a great way of answering that question, but also finding them a way to get special cards, you know? Um, so yeah, that's great. Um, really smart writing, so I like that. Um, yeah, going, uh, looking for the, uh, going back to the to the people who, again, like I've mentioned at the show before, like I don't think there's any, like, I don't think there's there's any time wasted, which I like. I think, you know, anything that could be considered like, well, that was pointless, like, never seems to happen. Like, it never seems to be pointless because they came back to the guys who had the disease, like the disease and whatnot, thinking that, you know, could this work, uh, could the, the necklace work upon them uh, and cure the disease? So it's a great way of thinking, especially for Gon, and um, it's, it's obviously a nice gesture as well. But, um... Uh, but yeah, like I, I, I figured it would be the case because it seems that everything, from monsters to NPCs and everything, uh, you know, once affect like they turn into cards. Or they, it seems like with them people anyway, like they at any point they can turn into a card. But yeah, that was great. It's cool. Um, yeah, so they had the meeting of the like a lot, a lot of the different teams because you know, getting through and whatnot, it's like literally. He's on the verge of winning. Um, so, in any way to stop them, any case necessary. Uh, it, it's going to be interesting. This is why, this goes along with my theory that this, that whatever is 
the the, the path of whatever the fuck it is. What what's it called? The patch of shore or whatever. That whatever is under there has created the world. It it goes with the idea that right. So they were talking about how it's impossible to get zero unless you have all the other nine, like the other ninety eight or whatever, or the other ninety nine. Sorry. Um, Which means that I think that you need the the patch of shore or whatever to gain access to wherever the you know the, they said the the what, what was it I can't remember the fucking name the, the lagoon or the fucking it's like it's something uh, grotto right called the Sea God's Grotto um, and so with the patch of shore or whatever you can get into there and then that's where you claim the number zero thing which the number zero would not be it's not surprising to me that like number zero is the the most like that's that's the winning item if that is the indeed the one card or the you know that that created the whole thing in the first place but the fact is that everyone trying to stop the you know you can't like it's it's like a one win thing as soon as someone wins it is it a case of returning everything back to normal? Is that what a win is? It seems like once someone's won it, that's it. It's gone. I don't think anything gets reset. I think it's it's all done. I think... You can only win once, I think. So... Yeah. My theory's looking better every day. And I'm going to be annoyed when it's like... I was When it's clear that I was way off. But, you know, it is what it is. Um... So yeah, I love Killua being petty. Uh, it's, it's great. It's like, well, you're, you're being a bitch. You know what I mean? So fucking eat this. <laughs> it's like, you're going to have to pay me if you want any information. Um, but I'll give the rest of them for free. It's great. Like, it's because it it happens a lot. Um, and it happens with Gone as well. But it's great because it's like, well, yeah, they're kids. You know what I mean? They, they tend to be that way. Um, so so yeah, I, I love that. It was also like Killua just... When it comes to any <laughs> any woman at all, he just has a they just end up in an argument with each other. Killua just doesn't take any shit from from girls, does he? He just really doesn't. Um, but it's funny. Um, and yeah, they're all going after Pacha Shaw, which of course I, I I said like a couple of episodes ago or, or something in the discussion where I feel like everything's going to come to a head. Like everything's going it, to it's going to all happen where everybody that's in the game is all going to come to one spot you know what i mean and um and that's already happened the thing is is that this you know gone kill one all of this group that has you know the 15 that accompanied or whatever when they went there they went there after Tezgera, right Tezgera has already already been there and now he's not going to be able to get that because he's he used a company but he only did it with like what three other people so He's not going to be able to do it. And it doesn't seem like he has any idea of how to get it. And I don't know where he is at this point. Um, but yeah, so they've entered, like, the Gone Killer and everything. They've entered this uh, this one place where all the pirates and all, all that are. Um, so yeah, we'll probably be getting into that uh, next episode. But um, but yeah, that, that's all I've got. Um, so yeah, interesting uh, talking point though. You know, this idea that maybe that, you know, there were real people once on this island, real inhabitants, and then the likes of Razor and these other designers came along for this treasure, ended up creating this fucking, this game with real people's lives. So yeah, it's like, I, I'm thinking it's it's cool. There is a dark sort of undertone with it, which, um, which uh, you know, is... Uh, it's interesting. Interesting to think about. So yeah, that's all I've got. So thank you for watching. In this description below, I've linked certain things. One of them is the Discord, so you can get yourself over there. I've also got a Patreon as well. So if you do want to support me on Patreon, that'd be very much appreciated. There is a bunch of different tiers and rewards, depending on how much you want to support me with. So there's the early access tier, $5 a month. Gives you access to shows a week early, and you get four episodes of Hunter Hunt every week. Um, there's two on Monday and two on Friday. As opposed to YouTube, uh, general public, they only get two a week. Um, so by the time this video comes out on um, YouTube for the general public, if you become an early access tier patron, you'll have access to like 
episodes up to like episode 120 or something like that you'll have a lot to look through so if you can't wait for like you know a lot of videos you'll have a lot backed up that you can just go watch um and just for five dollars a month so you know if you get through all those episodes within a month there's only five dollars i think it's great value um but that's up to you uh, there's also full length there um and there is other tiers where you can uh, where you can pay it to have a certain show reacted to as well. So go have a look at those. But that's all I've got. So thank you for watching. I'll see you all next time. Bye bye.